Hi everybody, this is Coach TGS. We're going to talk about pressure. You're gonna tell me, I don't like pressure. Who wants pressure? There's too much pressure. Relax, peeps. Do you know that pressure is necessary? You'll probably say, I don't believe you, Coach. Okay, let me tell you a story. You know, the Japanese are known for their fresh food. Of course, apart from all other things Japanese, like anime and Mount Fuji and cherry blossoms. But I want to talk about the freshness of their food, especially their fish. I mean, I love sashimi, sushi. I love it. No, because Japan is an island, just like the Philippines. Of course, the fish, freshly caught from the sea, goes straight to their restaurants. How fresh is that, right? But as time went on, the fish already moved to the deeper parts of the sea. So what happened was the Japanese now had to get bigger boats to be able to go to the deeper waters. Unfortunately, it took three days. Yes three days for the catch to get to shore. Guess what? The fish, well, they weren't as fresh as before. And the restaurant owners, who were the fishermen's clients, didn't like the taste. So the fishermen thought, how can we solve this? So what they did was they installed freezers, right? So they put freezers, huge freezers in the ships, and obviously the fish remained fresh. But, you guessed that right, frozen. And the Japanese could taste the difference between fresh fish and frozen fish. So back to the drawing board, the Japanese fishermen said, okay, let's not freeze them anymore. Let's just put huge tanks of water so that when we catch them, you know, they're just there. They'd swim around until the time that they get to shore. Brilliant idea. Nah. You know why? The fish were too lazy to swim. And so the very uh, discriminating Japanese clients could still taste the difference between the stale fish and fresh fish. Ah, the Japanese, very intelligent people. You know what they did? They finally introduced a baby shark. Yep, you got it, baby shark. Shark, right on. Baby shark. So what happened? The baby shark would chase the fish around. Of course, they lost about a couple of fish, but that's not, uh, you know, what, what, what's that amount compared to the giant haul that they had every time? Obviously, the fish were swimming around because they didn't want to be baby sharks dinner. And that's how fresh fish was brought again back to the Japanese clients. What's the moral of the story, my friends? Sometimes we need the baby shark to get us moving, motivated. We need that pressure. Sometimes our lives are like, you know, just going with the flow, not really exciting enough. You wake up and, you know, just do the ordinary things. But with some pressure, ordinary things become extraordinary one client, you push for three clients for the day. You finish your report not in eight hours, you finish it in half a day. Why? There's pressure. And what is this pressure? Or who is this pressure? Maybe it's your boss. Maybe it's your family who's pressuring you, of course, to bring home the bacon. Whatever the pressure is. Maybe it's this pandemic. That's the pressure. You tell me, coach, isn't this pandemic isn't this uncertain times pressure enough? My friends, think of it this way. What were our lives prior to coronavirus? Maybe we were too complacent. Maybe we were just okay. Maybe we were taking for granted the things that we have, the blessings that we already have, that this coronavirus is supposed to be the pressure in our lives. So how do we cope with this pressure? Well, if this is Baby Shark, then swim faster. I'll see you around. Baby Shark. Baby Shark.